First up, my personal obsession, tuna casserole. Here we've got the noodles for the starch, the tuna fish for the protein, and then you've got the nice baby green peas for that nice little pop of freshness that you're looking for in a casserole. Cheese, fish, I don't know. That doesn't seem to go together. My sort of MO is doing classics with a twist. I'm gonna try and get a pea velouté done with uh, some tortellini uh, stuffed with celery puree and some seared tuna. When I think tuna, I think the Mediterranean and I think sushi. And I can't make sushi, so I'm going Mediterranean. I think I've barely scratched the surface of what I have to show. What is it about that tuna casserole that could trip up these home cooks? In a tuna casserole, it's often canned tuna. It's also a strange combination. You have cream and fish and cheese and noodles. There's so many things going into it that don't make sense together. Hot, hot, hot. So many things going on. Oh. I've never had tuna casserole before. I have to elevate into something more modern. We're just making some sort of mixture here. I'm trying to wrap my head around cheese and tuna, so I decide to just put them together quite literally and hope, hope for the best. This looks so interesting. I decided to do a uh, Asian twist on the tuna noodle casserole. I've never had tuna casserole. I've only ever had tuna from the can. Today I'm gonna be bringing in my unicorn power so that I can cook with love and rainbows. I'm actually gonna crust my tuna steak with uh, chopped up almonds and black sesame. Chopping so fun, chopping so fun. I love chopping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am making a deconstructed tuna casserole because it's gonna showcase my strong ability to make pasta. I have made handmade pasta more than I can count. I'd say it's the thing that I'm the best at. I'm gonna be using a variety of chilies that isn't necessarily traditional. I feel like I'm one of the stronger competitors here, and I'm gonna nail this. Aaron's right underneath us. We can see that he's doing these beautiful pasta from scratch. Aaron, that dough's sexy. Thanks, brother. This competition is the only thing that matters right now. My food dream is to be a restaurateur. Uh, I'd really love to own my own joint. And every day that I'm here is a step closer to making that a reality. Hello, 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 hello. Let's go. Jordan! Hi. Tuna casserole, Mary's favorite dish. How are you going to elevate it? I'm going to take an Asian twist on it. Nice. I'm going to do a tuna tataki. You, like, literally read my mind. That is where I would go. Oh, and shut up. I was thinking I would do a tataki and the Japanese flavor. Yeah. Who is going to have the most trouble? Honestly, before the challenge, I did see Taya struggling a little bit to conceptualize an idea. So maybe her, but honestly, she always pulls it out of the bag, so I don't even know. Is it gonna be you? Hell no. Yeah, that's the that's attitude. That. We'll let you get back Thank to work. You so Amazing. Much, you I love your shirt. You oh, think. thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs> oh my god. Taya, where's your pasta? I've been so busy working on my sauces, my purees, my breadcrumbs. I need to start making my ravioli. 20 minutes! You have 20 minutes left! My ravioli is so thick but I had no time to change it. This pasta is not good. I'm freaking out for her. Oh my God. May seems calm. She's keeping to her zone and not running around as much as really anybody else. Trevor seems like a confident dude, and I think that's a great thing, but that can only take you so far in this kitchen. The cream sauce was tasty, but quite spicy. I'm not sure how that plate's gonna come together. Perfect. I am doing the best that I can. One minute! You have one minute to make beautiful plates! Wow, they are all cutting it close. Go, guys! Oh, oh. You got less than 20. Come on, guys, you're going to do it! Come on, get it together! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Before we taste, we have one more piece of business to take care of. Matt and Justine can save one of you. Oh I had this great idea to elevate the tuna casserole and... <sighs> save me, throw me a bone, please. 
They shouldn't save me. I want the judges to see my dish. I think my dish is gorgeous. We choose... Taya. Thank you guys so much. Justine and I both know that Taya has cooked in every single cook, and she deserves a break. Alicia, please bring up your dish. It's a seared tuna and gnocchi with confit garlic. I could actually see every element of the classic tuna casserole dish, but you transformed it into something that is so relevant looking. I mean, it looks like a modern version. Thank you. What's the crust on the tuna? Drizzled some of the confit garlic oil on top. It's fantastic. This is an incredible dish. Maybe this is the turning point for you in this kitchen. Thank you. At this point, I'm thinking that this could be a winning dish. Trevor! Uh, so I have a seared albacore tuna, habanero cream sauce, and a handmade pasta. It's beautiful. It's visually stunning. It's a nice cook on the tuna. You kept it rare. You have a nice sear on it. Pasta, the consistency, and the thickness. Very nice. Wow. It's too hot. You can't get over that heat. That is a mistake. You know, from the outside, you seem like a very, almost arrogant. But I think on the inside, you're terrified. I really feel that. Wow. Hot oh, damn, that is hot. Wow. Did you use scotch bonnets? I was under the assumption it was a habanero. So you don't know. You use an habanero, which is also known as a scotch bonnet, which happens to be one of the hottest peppers on planet Earth. And all I think about now is that pepper. I don't really think about the tuna dish. Aaron, bring up your dish. It's a tuna satake with celery root tortelloni with mint and pea velouté. It's very sophisticated. It's intelligent. What is inside your tortelloni? It's a celery root puree. I tried to keep it simple. I wanted to mimic the idea of the cream of celery soup. You sound like a pro. Far from it, chef. You've just created the best dish I've had in four seasons. It's amazing. It's extraordinary praise, chef. There's nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. That sauce, it just pops with flavor. Your tortelloni are perfect. Perfectly cooked. You can tell they're handmade. What a shame it would be if you don't quit the job that you have now and become a chef. It'd be a real shame.